Hey, good morning. Good morning, Coach Michael Burt. It's about 7.45 a.m. Monday morning, second week of May. I'm down in Watercolor, Florida. Flying back to Nashville today for an event in Nashville. Uh, tomorrow. And then we've got uh, flying up to Michigan on Wednesday. Look forward to seeing my Michigan people on Wednesday for person of interest. And then I'm going to be at the lodge. Good morning, Mama. I'm going to be at the lodge this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. What's up, Daniel Hodges? Good morning to you folks because I got the Michael Burt School of Speaking, Coaching, and Writing. This Thursday, Friday is going to be incredible where I'm teaching people how to speak, how to coach, how to write, how to generate leads, how to become people of interest. And I'm moving right into Dinner with a Billionaire this Friday night. And I was thinking this morning when I woke up, um, one of the things I love about being in Florida, John Hart, uh, is I love the expansiveness of thought. And yesterday, being here, it's beautiful sunny days, getting out and seeing the ocean. What it does, Brian White, is it expands your thought. And what, what happens to us is we wake up every day and we focus on small opportunities. Because, quite frankly, that's how the brain's wired. What we have to learn to do is, is ask a simple question. And this is a deciding factor on how do we focus on the biggest opportunities in front of our face. You're at A. A is your current position. B is your desired outcome. And part of your B should be moving toward moves, Michael Burgess, moving toward moves that are in alignment with what you want to do, with, with big outcomes, with, with passive income, with, with the moves that you're trying to make. See, you're at A and you're trying to move to B, right? And, and every move you make can either be a small move, Tommy Davidson, like a little bluegill move, or it can be a big move. And you got to step back sometimes. you got to ask yourself, what are my level 10 opportunities? What's the biggest thing right now, David, I need to be focused on? Right, so, so so yesterday, Joe Camper, I sat down every Sunday and I just write down the word focus. There's so many things to focus on that we get distracted and the word distract means to pull something apart. Okay, it means to pull something apart. And so what, we, what happens is we get up and we get pulled and distracted into all these, all these small things that keep us from moving toward our B. When I was 31 years old, I was at another house that I had, and I wrote on a board, I want to become the next Covey, because Stephen Covey had impacted me so much. I wrote, here's my goal. Simple. Goal, the next Covey. That's a B. Then, from that point forward, for the next 14 years, all I would do is wake up every day and ask myself, what can I do that would move me toward my B? Okay, now I want to focus on passive income where my residual income is greater than my living expenses. I'm trying to restructure the business to only do what I love, which is speak and do boot camps. <clears throat> so, so see, that's a B. B is an ideal outcome. A is a current position. Okay, and every day we get up, we have a choice, man. We have a choice. Do we focus on this, which is a small blue gill? Do we focus on this, which is a blue marlin? Do we focus on this level 10 opportunity? Do we focus on this level 4 opportunity? Because you're most likely a level 10 person stuck in a level 4 mindset or a level 4 vehicle, and you can't quite get there. Okay, so so let's start this morning by asking one question. What's your B? And, and how do you move toward that B with an intensity? And how do you not allow yourself to be distracted by the small things? Okay, by the small things. So I start, I sit down on Sunday, guys, and I literally write up level 10 opportunities on a, on a yellow pad or on my board. And I sit there, Abby Bills, and I go, okay, biggest opportunity available to me. Boom. But something's got to happen, David, for that, for that B to manifest. I need a team member. I need somebody focused on this. I need to get better at this. I need to do this. Like something's got to happen for me to move from A to B. Or I'm going to stay where I'm at, and I'm just I'm, and I'm not going to get there, Travis. I'm just not going to get there. So this is my encouragement to you today, man. It's Monday, second week of May. We got a new start, got a new opportunity, got a new ability. Now it's time for you to focus and invest your time. Now in our coaching program, we call that high value activity. There's a difference between high value activity and low value activity. And low value activity is any activity that you participate in. It's got nothing to do 
canal with moving you towards your B. It's got nothing to do with moving you to. So you get up and you focus on low value activity because you're pulled apart. That's what distraction is, Kelly. So we got big opportunities. Those are level 10s. We got to wake up and go, okay, who's my level 10? Who are my blue marlins that can connect me to those? And this is part of a system. That's really what you, if you saw me this weekend teaching at my lodge to 150 people, what they were learning was that system, this system of thought that I use to play offense in life versus defense, to get up and move the ball toward a defining ambition. And this is what you're trying to do for other people. You're trying to help them move from A to B, but people get distracted, they get pulled apart. So here's a question for you today as we leave. What's up, MK? What's, uh, number one, what's your level 10 opportunity? Number two, what is your B? Number three, how can you put your time and energy today and this week toward your biggest opportunity? Could be people, could be strategic partnerships. What's up, Cody? Could be strategic partnerships, could be deals, could be, man, it's just open. We're open to creation. We're open to creation, right? We're gonna wake up and we're not gonna wait on something to happen. We're gonna create, we're gonna be in the mindset carry in of creation and that means we're going to initiate we're going to connect we're going to locate problems gabriel we're going to go offer compelling solutions man and we're just going to keep an intensity moving toward our b okay all right you guys have a great day i gotta go get on it okay i'll be in nashville tomorrow doing an event i'll be in michigan wednesday doing an event i'll be at the lodge on thursday michael burke school of speaking coaching and writing i got dinner with the billionaire on saturday night What's up, Robert? Okay, reach out to me, Robert. I have I have dinner with the billionaire with uh, Jeff Hoffman on Saturday night. We still got tickets available, guys. That's the founder of Priceline. It's a hundred and four billion dollar company. If you want to come learn from a billionaire, reach out to me. Reach out to my team, and let's go. Got a big week. Thank you. Before I get started, there is one very important question I have to ask you. Coach Michael Burke, Monster Producer Academy CEO. He's a personal friend of mine. What good is it to have knowledge with no desire? What good is it to have desire with no skill? What good is it to have knowledge and skill with no confidence? A big part of activating your prey drive is finding and refining your talent. This is something that helps you get to the next place. People are made up of four parts, a body, a mind, a heart and a spirit. You need to know you, and then you need to have an awareness, and sometimes you don't even know what you need. So all four parts of our nature have to be clicking. Your hard skill solves my problem. The bigger the problem, the more money people will pay to solve it. Everything is valuable to your future. What I'm really paying you for is your past. A monster producer combines multiple skills to dominate a market. When you get to wake up every day and do what you love doing, man, it is hard not to be motivated. They think at a higher ordinance than everybody else. They want to create new things. I have a conviction about me, and that's the conviction that you feel when I talk, when I speak. It comes across as passion. You got to learn how to connect to another person at such a deep level that it moves them. You have goals, you have targets, but you don't have a sense of urgency. They're going to exchange money, energy. They're going to raise capital. They're going to start new businesses. There's going to be joint ventures. I think your purpose finds you. It is activated. The word activate means to initiate. Discipline, which is a derivative of the word disciple, which means to give yourself to a person or cause you believe in. Do you believe in your future, yes or no? When we know better, we do better. Finding the problem that you are uniquely qualified to solve, and you don't know what problem you really solve for whom, then there is no big financial exchange right there. You should leave here thinking bigger today than when you came. And I want to shake your hand and look you in the eyeball when you make this decision. Thank you. We'll see you in the back. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.